Discount Bourbon Reviews! That was a good timed one. I thought it was, too. I thought it was pretty well. Today we're here with the very old Barton's 90, no, not 90, 86 86. proof. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And I'm a very big fan of them. I've killed my big boy almost entirely in the week. Two weeks I've had my hands on him, I That's think. right. He is an easy one to have on your bar. Oh, yeah. And be able to just pour from. Um, we have a little bit of experience with the VOB 100. I designated him as both neat and a mixer. So, for me, I think that VOB is pretty close, too. Um, but we're getting ahead of ourselves on the review here. Dylan, what do you know about the area where this is produced? So, we know that it is produced in Bardstown. Is it Bardstown? I believe so. Bardstown, Bardstown Kentucky. Um... I think it's just taken up the road a little bit, bottled, but what I found out looking up into it is that it's owned by Sazerac. What isn't these days? Uh, that's fair, but, I mean, that's good to know. I trust Sazerac products for the most part. I haven't had one that I wasn't that big of a fan of. Yeah, I mean, overall, the products are going to be pretty steady. The Buffalo Trace lineup is something that a lot of people pay attention to. Oh, yeah. Um, this is not in that family, I don't believe. I don't think so. No, but I think it is still under the Sazerac family yeah. name. Um, we, uh, we paid 20 for the big old bottle here. Trying to get that price label off there for you guys. Yep. But we paid 20 bucks. But 20 bucks for a 1.75 is a very, very yeah, good come on. Price. That's easy, dude. Yeah. That, that's easy money. He's got a good corny nose. He a does. A lot of butter on that. He does. And we found out that we it is at least a 75% yeah. corn on this pretty guy. pretty corn forward. Yeah, so you can get a lot of those butter corn notes coming off of him. Almost leads me to like yellow cake territory. I get a little bit more oak off of him than I did like the the one hundred. Yeah, I think so too. No, that's very. I think I. Oh yeah. I think that's I like the nose a little bit more. That the nose is a little bit stronger there compared to over here. You can definitely taste the corn quite a bit more, and the flavors are considerably more muted. I lost some of those banana smells. I lost some of those richer, you know, uh, fruit caramels uh, in this 86 here. No, you do. You can follow us through. I would say that it's it's still on the sweeter side. It absolutely is. But you lose some of those kind of interesting complexities out of it. And this is kind of why I'm glad I did it back to back. And, of course, if you want to see it back to back, you can always check out the live stream. It's just been going on. But... Twitch.tv slash discount bourbon reviews. But it really is just a watered down version of that 100 proof. I mean, there's nothing else to say. And, and even then, the 100 proof is probably watered down cast strength. It makes me feel bad about what I said, just the 100 proof just being a mixer. Because mm-hmm. I've, I've lost out on some some notes here. Neat on the 86 to the 100 that I really did like in the 100. Yeah, I almost kind of wish we did it in the inverse. Yeah. I think you could have appreciated a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to apologize to very old Barton. I do. I him do. I personally. Do. To if you 100 him, proof specifically, I apologize. If you know him, him, tell him we'll be down about the flagpole at 3 p.m. and we will apologize. That sounds like you're trying to fist fight him after school. Yeah, tell him to be real angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wants to apologize. Oh, yeah. No, he's very good. I love him. That's. I, I get a lot of corn and butter off of him. And on the 86, it's really just about all I'm getting off of them. It's corny. It it's is buttery. Corny. It's going to be great as a mixer. Yeah. But I accidentally uh, cut, I accidentally skipped over Ooh, here. Got too excited. Party foul. I did the same thing on the uh, the 100 proof, but I just kept it moving. I didn't you just say kept it about, moving. I didn't say you nothing about it. You just poured some Sprite in an empty cup. There was a little bit in there. There was a little bit in there. A little bit in there. You're deceiving the audience. I mean, it happened. It's that backstage magic. You know what I mean? We generally do a uh, three to one mix with our sprite. Just... That's really good mix. I can like the the bite that Ooh, he offers. It opens up some of that cinnamon and anise it that does. was locked away in that hundred proof. Yeah, I'd say the hundred proof almost. You knew he was there because you could taste the flavors of the hundred proof, but he mm-hmm. kind of hit all of that bite. While this eighty six proof, it still kept that bite for me, and I really like that. As a mixer, they share pretty much similar flavor characteristics for me. So I'm really surprised to see that this brought more to the table in a mixed state yeah. than the Varial Barton's 100 did. I would absolutely sip the 100 neat 
And I would now designate this as probably just a primary mixer if you have both bottles. If you have just this one, feel free to sip on it. It's a great sipper. It's a great something to get you warmed up for the evening. Um, but I think it, if, if I've ever given it a straight designation, if you know me, I think I got to pull it back. And I think it's probably just a mixer now. Uh, I'm, I'm sticking strong with my 86 being just a solid mixer. And I want to go back and take the take what I said back away from the hundred proof. I think that he's a solid, a standalone sipper. So I think his nose for me, I'm gonna give him just a five. I think he's just a perfectly average nose. There's nothing too crazy in there. I wasn't needing to sniff it all day, um, but it didn't smell repulsive either. So, congrats and uh, taste fair. Taste was fair, but it's it's a little bit better mixed up. Um, it's something to let people know about, but nothing to write home about. So I think that's a six. In price, I mean, this is nineteen bucks for a one point seven five liters. That's a ten. You can't you can't beat a price yes, like can't, that. Can't beat that price. That is a very good price. So my overall is probably just a six. That's interesting. Flavor, I'd give it a, a six. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, I mean, kind of like what we expected and to be expected from the products. It's what I expected from the hundred proof. Just just a little bit of a step down. So I think a six, a solid place for it, because he's he's good, and I'd say he's a little bit above average, but he's nothing crazy. And I liked what you said, something to what was it, something to tell everybody about, but not write home about. Yeah, I mean, you let people know, like, hey, try very old Barton. You're trying to get some people into some things. It's going to be a real quick and easy nip to say, like, are you liking these flavors? Are these flavors repulsive to you? Yeah. Like, how how are you feeling about it? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I liked that a lot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it at a six. Um, I'll, Nose and palate, realistically. I mean, it's it's just across the board a step down. And price brings it up from that. I think we gave this one an 8, and that one's very easily a 10. Mm -hmm. So I think overall, he's going to be about a 7 for me. A 6 and a 7. I mean, for that price, it's hard to beat. You know what I mean? A 6 and a 7. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Are you Barton himself? Are you old Barton himself? And do you want to fist fight me down by the flagpole? Please let us know in the comments. Uh, but other than that,